It holds one of the deepest gorges in North America, deeper than even the Grand Canyon, and home to steep, rugged mountains, thick forests, and wild whitewater. The Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness Area is 2.3 million acres of natural bliss. But the name makes it seem more menacing than it really is, a place from which you won't be coming back. For this week's Get to Know Idaho, we're going into the wild, smack in the middle of the gem state. Stretching from the Twin Peaks, which reached to 10,000 feet, to where the Salmon River leaves the wilderness at just under 2,000 feet above sea level, it's the largest connected wilderness area in the lower 48. Big enough to hold four national forests, the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness is a... Area is surrounded by steep slopes that were carved out by running water more than 100 million years ago. The Salmon River Mountains in north central Idaho reach higher than 9,000 feet in some places, with the gorge as deep as 4,000 feet, making it second only to Hell's Canyon along the Idaho-Oregon border as the deepest in North America. The name, River of No Return, comes from the days when boats could float down the main Salmon River, but the rapids and fast water made it impossible to go back up, which is why, in 1980, Congress declared it as the River of No Return. And four years later, they added U.S. Senator Frank Church's name to it as an ode to his legacy, which was always to preserve this wild central core of Idaho. These days, jet boats make it so upstream isn't out of the question, but the River of No Return has made many not really want to leave it behind anyway. Well, last year, the U.S. Mint releasing the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness Quarter as part of its America the Beautiful Quarters collection. The design depicts a pilot drift boat on the rushing river encompassed by the trees and, of course, the rock formations of the wilderness.